Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. See the first uh, information. Result of annual examination in a high school. Here, the bar graph is uh, inform bar graph is gives the information about results of uh, annual examination in a high school and uh, whatever the data, all data in terms of percentage, whatever the data which is provided, each and every data is in terms of percentage in this bar graph and uh, success being considered only success uh, that means pass percentage all the values are uh, all the values which are provided in this uh, bar graph are percentage of uh, success candidates uh, pass candidates okay that is the information here boys indicating with uh, white and girls indicating with uh, black dark uh, so that uh, here the classes are from uh, 5 to 10 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the 6 classes and these 6 classes annual examination results are provided. Only pass percentage. Okay. See for example, class 5, boys are 90 percentage passed. It means remaining 10 percentage are failed. Why? Because uh, total is equal to pass plus fail. Total is equal to pass plus fail. That is the meaning of total number of uh, students. Okay. Now, look at the first question. In which pair of classes, in which pair of classes are the results of boys and girls, girls and boys uh, in reverse proportion? Very easy to understand. See, first of all, uh, boys and girls. Boys and girls, in which class uh, these two values are in reverse approach among the options? Let us go with uh, option A. Option A, that is 5th uh, class. 5th uh, class, uh, girls are 90. Girls are 90 and boys are 70. Now, according to the meaning of this one, in which class, in which class, both these are in reverse approach. This is 5th class and this is 10th uh, class. This is option A, 5th class and 10th uh, class. Okay. Now, here according to the given question, 5th class uh, 90 and 70, if the condition must satisfied uh, in 10th class, uh, girls should be 70 and boys should be 90. Once check it out this one, in 10th class, uh, girls are 70, boys are 90. Is it true or false? No. Here, uh, sorry, girls are 70, that is fine, whereas coming to boys, boys are only 80, that is not true, right? So, both values must and should same, but only thing is, those two are uh, in reverse approach. Uh, guys, I think this one is, uh, first one is boys and second one is girls. First one is boys, second one is uh, girls, okay? And next, coming to the option B. So, option 1 is, uh, option A is wrong one. Go for op option B. That is uh, class 6 and uh, class 9. Class 6 uh, boys 90, girls 80. Whereas, coming to class 9, the values must be 80 and 90. Boys must be 80, girls must be 90. Once check it out. Uh, class 9. Boys are 80, girls are 90. Yes, that is true. Therefore, option B is the right answer. Once, check it out the remaining options as well. Option C, that is class 5 and class 6. Class 5, that is boys are 7, 90 and girls are 70. According to the given condition, both are in reverse approach, inverse proportion. It means in... 6th class, boys must be 70 and girls must be 90. Once check it out in 6th class, boys are 90. That is wrong one. So, you can eliminate option C as well. Similarly, option D. Option D is uh, one is 7th class, one is 10th class. In 7th class, in 7th class, boys and girls are 50 and 70. 
if it must be true then in 10th class the values must be 70 and 50 but if you look at 10th class uh, the values are 80 and 70 80 and 70 that is also wrong one so you can eliminate option d so whenever the questions are like this in reverse approach in reverse approach means uh, both in this class and in this class in both the classes two values must be same but in reverse approach suppose for example this is first value this is second value but in this case this is the first value this second value comes to first position and first value goes to last position this is the order right in this order boys and girls uh, should be in a river inverse proportion inverse or reverse proportion both are same okay here option b satisfies the given condition so option b is the right answer for this question next question in which class is the failure of boys is the lowest or nil lowest or nil first nil indicates that zero percentage fail zero percentage fail related to boys we are talking about boys is there any class in which a complete zero percentage fail in the sense complete hundred percentage pass hundred percentage pass uh, is there for boys or not in which class if it is there boys are belongs to white uh, color boxes so here if you look at this one boys pass percentage 90 here the boys pass percentage 90 here it is 50 here it is boys pass percentage 100 if boys pass percentage is 100 automatically fail percentage zero if fail percentage is zero that is called as a nil that is called as nil that is in which class class 8 class 8 is the right answer class 8 next question in which class is the result of girls more than the average result of boys for the school see uh, average number of uh, average number of uh, boys average result of boys for the school so as we all know that average is equal to what is meant by average sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations therefore the required average is equal to what is the required average see average result of boys average is nothing but sum by number of values as we are talking about boys let us take all these values i am taking only the boys values see 90 plus 90 plus 50 plus 100 plus 80 plus 80 whole divided by number of observations how many observations are there six observations so average is equal to add all the values here it is 90 plus 90 180 180 plus 100 280 280 plus 50 280 plus 50 330 330 plus 80, 330 plus 80, 410, 410 plus 80, 490, 490 divided by 6, that is the average, which is equal to, which is equal to, I will calculate uh, approximately, uh, 6, 8, sir, 48, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 in the sense, uh, uh, 6, 1, sir, and next 40 will be there, 40 means again 6 times, again 40, 81.66 81.66 percentage that is the average value that is the average percentage now the question is in which class the result of girls the result of girls more than the average here the average of boys average of boys is equal to 81.66 percentage once look at the first option first option class 8 girls uh, 70 this value is uh, less than the average first option is not satisfying the answer 
second option 10th class 10th class girls that is also 70 that is also less than the average here this value is 70 this value is 70 class 6 that is 80 class 9 class 9 is 90 now if you look at all these four values 70 70 and 80 these three values are less than the average of boys so automatically if you look at this 90 this 90 is greater than the average of uh, all the boys so the required answer for this question is option d class 9 in class 9 the percentage the result of girls more than the average result of boys for the entire school here option d is the right answer option d next one in which class uh, is the result of boys less than the overall average result of the class uh, overall overall average result of the girls so first uh, we will calculate uh, average result of girls average of girls average of girls that is equal to sum of girls sum of girls divided by number of observations number of observations which is equal to here the girls values are 70 80 70 70 90 70 write down all the values 70 plus 80 plus 70 plus 70 plus 90 plus and next last one 70 whole divided by number of observations 6 therefore the required average is equal to average of girls that is equal to here uh, we have uh, 4 70s that is uh, 280 280 plus 80 280 plus 80 360 360 plus 90 360 plus 90 that will gives you 450 450 by 6 you can cancel with 6 table directly 6 7 sir 42 still uh, 3 will be left over 30 30 means 6 5 sir therefore average of girls which is equal to 75 percentage now the question what is asking is uh, in which class is the result of boys result of boys less than the overall average here boys uh, values class 10 boys is equal to class 10 boys is equal to 80 class 9 boys is equal to 80 class 7 boys is equal to 50 class 8 boys is equal to 100 right boys pass percentage now if you observe carefully boys value must be less than the average here the average is 75 less than 75 we want the answer less than 75 option a greater than 75 delete option b greater than 75 delete option d also greater than 75 now the only answer which is less than uh, 75 that is option c class 7 class 7 is the right answer in class 7 the result of boys less than the average result of uh, girls option c is the right answer for this question option c last question in this session in which class uh, is the difference between the result of girls and uh, that of boys maximum difference we need to calculate the difference between uh, uh, boys and girls okay here first i will take boys and then girls and then difference and then uh, here we'll take about uh, one by one class 5 6 7 8 and next uh, 9 10 class 5 boys 90 girls 70 next uh, class 6 boys 90 girls 80 class 7 boys 50 girls 70 class 8 boys 100 girls 70 class 9 boys 80 girls 90 class 10 boys 80 girls 70 now you can calculate the difference difference is nothing but uh, 
highest value minus lowest value that will gives you the difference. Here the difference is 20. Here the difference is 10. Here the difference is 20. Here the difference is 30. 100 minus 70. And here the difference is 10. Here the difference is 10. Now we want the difference between girls and boys. That value must be maximum. Maximum difference is 30. Maximum difference is 30. That is in which class? Class 8. Class 8 is the right answer. Class 8. Option C is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you. Thanks for watching.